Hey everybody. So I've had a common question come up and that is how do you make a freeze frame of a character but still have it exist in a level sequence from a particular animation. So let's look at this guy. This is just a Mixamo character and I've downloaded some animation for him already. So let's give him some hip hop and you know the old animation cycle is playing here. Let's pull that back to the beginning. So what if there's a pose, though, for this particular character that you want him to just stick at? Maybe you're posing a bunch of other side characters around in a shot. Maybe they're supposed to be dead or holding a gun and not moving. So how do you freeze frame and use just a single pose? So you could, although I'm not going to go into it that much, you could you know, try and come in here and go up to your properties and mess with some of your properties or maybe go to your edit and trim off most of it to the left and then trim off the rest to the right but it's actually um, there's a lot easier solution just go to your animation cycle itself so I've put it here in my animations folder and double click to open it so here is the animation editor to mess with your animation sequences you can do a lot of stuff in here but for now we're just going to talk about freezing and outputting a single pose so all you gotta do is find the pose that you want him in so maybe you want him, oh, I don't know, stuck like that for an entire, uh, you know, animation sequence. You, you don't want him moving, but you don't want to hand pose this either. All you need to do is go up to create asset, go to create animation from current pose. And it gives you a chance to pick where you want to put it. So I'll put it in the same folder as the full animation sequence. I'm going to give it a name. A very boring name of pose one okay so now you see technically it considers it an animation sequence but it's really just a one frame if you look at that second line there it says number of frames one so it is just a single frame animation so a couple things you can do with this now let's save and go back here so now in my folder here you see these two different cycles you could Let's, let's talk about what you could do. I could go to the sequencer. I can delete this animation and apply that single pose animation. Then he's just going to be, you know, you drag that out and then bring it back. So, you know, he's not really doing anything, right? You're just repeating the cycle. However, if your character really isn't going to do anything different uh, in the sequencer and you just want them permanently posed in that position forever, what you can do is, you, you don't even need your character listed in the sequencer for this. So I'm going to get rid of them and go back to the actual character. You can right click, browse to the asset. And generally, when you bring in a new character in your details panel, you'll see animation mode. It'll say use anim blueprint and it just default set to none. And when you're using the sequencer, now, of course, this is just talking um, short film production, uh, you know, games, you might do something else. But as far as making a short and using sequencer and such, you would use the sequencer to override the character's values here so that the animation takes over in each level sequence. But in this case, you could come over here to animation mode for this static character that you've dragged into your outliner switch it to use animation asset meaning an animation sequence and set that anim to quote play set that to your pose so now your character is always stuck in that pose and notice we haven't done anything in the sequencer for this particular character this applies just to this instance of the character right if i bring in another skeletal mesh this one's just in t pose this one is also set to the default of use, use animation blueprint and it's set to none. You could go to sequencer, add this character. You know, this is same old, same old we've seen in other videos and add your animation. All right. So in one, one scene here, this is the character with his fixed single frame animation. But then because you want this guy moving uh, for your short film or whatever, you would put it in the animation. Uh, track here. So that is just a kind of brief answer to that question of how do you output a single frame of a animation sequence. Again, in review, or you could just rewind it and watch it again.
you would go into your animation. So you got to double click the animation to get this up and play the one that you want. Pause it where you want them to output, drag to the exact frame, go to create an, uh, create asset, create animation, current pose, give it a name, give it a location, and that's it. And hope you have a Merry Christmas. It's coming up in 15 days. Enjoy. Speaking of Christmas, it's time to get another Lego animation from my son Dexter. This one's very Christmas theme. I highly suggest you check it out.